Hi everyone, this is Dr. Diana Song Song and today we will discuss assignment problems. What are assignment problems? So the question that we want to answer here is what's the efficient way of distributing goods or tasks? Assignment problems are linear programming problems that are primarily concerned with determining optimal assignment or allocation of resources. So we want to assign people to tasks, certain jobs to machines, contracts to bidders, or salespeople to areas. So here is an example of an assignment problem. The F shop has just received three new rush projects to repair radio, coffee maker, and a toaster oven. Three repair persons, Anton, Ben, and Kim, each with different talents and abilities, are available to do the jobs. The owner of the shop estimates what it will cost in wages to assign each of the workers to each of the three projects. The costs, which are given in the table below, differ because the owner believes that each worker will differ in speed and skill in this quite valid job. So this table means that if Anton will do project one, it will cost 500 pesos. If Anton will do project two, it will cost 650. Project two is this one, uh, repairing the coffee maker. What is the first thing that we need to do in assignment problems? So first, we create the opportunity cost table. So first step, subtract the smallest number in each row of the original cost table or matrix from every number in that row. So for example here, by the way, whenever you create a table, here you always write your workers or machines, it depends. And for the columns, those are the assignments. Okay, so in each row, what does it say? Subtract the smallest number. So for the first row, the smallest number is 300. So you subtract 300 on all the numbers on this row. So therefore, this becomes 200, 350, and this becomes 0. For the second row, the smallest number is 400. So therefore, you subtract 400 everywhere. So this becomes 0, 50, 100. Similarly, for the third row, the smallest number is 350. So let's subtract 350. This becomes 0, 100, and... 600 minus 350 is 250. Okay, next step. I just had here my table, and these are the values that we obtained in step 1a. For our step 1b, you subtract the smallest number in each column of the table obtained from every number in that column. So for example, for this column, the smallest number is already 0. So you subtract 0 everywhere. So column 1 will just stay as is. What about for project 2? For project 2, the smallest number is 50. So you subtract 50 to all the numbers in the second column. This becomes 300, 0, and 200. Similarly, for the second column, since we all, the smallest number is already 0, so this will just remain as is. Second step, we now test the table that we have to see whether an optimal assignment can be made. How do we check? if we already have an optimal assignment. The procedure is to draw the minimum number of vertical and horizontal straight lines necessary to cover all zeros in the table. So this is the table that we, um, we were able to create from step 1b after step 1b. 
we just want to cover the zeros. Okay, so let's do that. Let's cover the zeros. So, 1, 2. I now have two lines covering my zeros. Next, if the number of line equals either the number of rows or columns, an optimal assignment can be made. However, in this case, the number of rows is 3. Number of rows is 3, but we only have the number of lines is just 2, right? So, the number of lines is less than the number of rows. So, that means this is not yet optimal. Okay, so if it's not yet optimal, we will now proceed to step 3. What is step 3? So, we revise the present opportunity cost table. This is the table that we have earlier, right? And then I also have the lines, the, the lines that I drew in step two. Okay, what we do is subtract the smallest number not covered by a line from every other uncovered number. So what are our uncovered numbers? We have 200, 300, 100, and 200. So thus, our smallest number is 100, right? So, this is our smallest number. Remember, for step 3, you want to get the smallest number from all the uncovered numbers. So, it's different from step 1a and 1b, wherein in step 1a, you get the smallest number per row, correct? And then you subtract that from all the numbers in that row. In 1B, you get the smallest number per column, understand? Whereas for step 3, you get the smallest number among all uncovered numbers. Or remember that, uncovered numbers, okay? So we subtract. 100 from all the uncovered numbers. Hence, this becomes 100, 200, this becomes 0, this becomes 100, right? And then, again, what will we do? This same number, we're not yet done, we're just done with this. Okay, after subtracting 100 from all the uncovered numbers, this same number is also added to any number lying at the intersection of the horizontal and vertical lines. And here, well, that's 100. 100 lies in the intersection of this vertical and horizontal line. So, therefore, we add 100 here. Thus, this becomes 200. Understand? So, maybe I should just put it there. So, that when you review, you can see what happened. And then here, plus 100. Okay. And then, we return to step 2 again. And continue the cycle until an optimal assignment is possible. What is step two again? Step two is covering our table, covering all the zeros, right? Okay, so this is the, ta the table that we had earlier. And then we proceed again to step two. What is step two? We cover all the zeros. So this one is already covered. This one is covered. This one is covered. So we just need this. So in this case, we now have three lines and that is also equal to the number of rows. So that means that we already have an optimal solution. Okay, now that we already have an optimal solution, we will now make the final allocation. 
So, this was the table that we had. First step is to find our row or column with only one zero cell. Find our row or column, I mean. Okay? So, for example, here on this row, there is only one zero here. So, that means that Anton will do project three. Okay? Anton will do project 3. And then, since you already know that Anton will do project 3, you now delete this. Okay. So, you now have this table, right? I just rewrote it. This is Ben, right? And then Kim. Left with project 1 and 2. But then again, look for a row containing only one zero. In this case... Kim. Kim's row has one zero on project one. So that means Kim must do project one. That leaves us with Ben doing project two. Or if you want, you can still continue with this zero here. Erase that row, the row and the column containing it. So that's why Ben is left with project 2. Okay? So, again, the, the red parts. This means that Anton will do project 3, Ben will do project 2, and Kim will do project 1. And it will cost the person who hired them, what's that, 450 plus 450, 900 plus 300, 1,200. So that, that is the, the minim, minimum possible cost. Okay. So I want you to try this. The standard engineering service has three jobs to be done by three machines. Determine the least cost of assignment if the costs are shown below. By the way, the question here is determine the least cost. Okay, so just like in the previous problem, what was the least cost? The least cost was 1,200. Okay, so here is here are our tables. What is the first step? Subtract from each row, you subtract the smallest number, right? So for row A, the smallest number is 37. So you subtract 37 everywhere. Right? So this becomes zero. Maybe I should just write that here. Zero. 43 minus 37 is 6. 45 minus 37 is 8. Next. For row B, the smallest number is 27. So this becomes 0, 5, and 9. Okay? Lastly, for Rosie, the smallest number is 29. So this becomes 5, 2, 0. Right? That is just step 1A. Correct? What is 1B? Look at the columns. This one, the smallest number is already 0. So as is. This one, the smallest number is 2. So we subtract 2 from all the numbers here. And then on the third column, the smallest number is 0. So that will remain as is. So I will just erase this. This becomes 4. Wait. This is now... Oops. This is 4... This is 3, and this is 0. Okay, so we're done with steps 1a and 1b. What is step 2? 
cover all the zeros. So, I'll cover all the zeros here. Right? That one. And lastly, this one. Oops, by the way, it should be the smallest possible number of lines. I, I made a mistake there. I should just cover... Oops, I'm sorry. What are these again? This was... Zero. Wait, 45 minus 37, that's 8. 6. This is... 5, 9, then this was 2, but then we subtract 2, so this became 4, 3, 0, right? Okay, that's 4, 3, 0, and then cover the 0. So, what we do is this one, so that I already have two zeros. See? Understand, that's the smallest possible number of lines to cover all the zeros. Now, in this case, two lines, but we have three rows. So, that means not yet optimal, correct? So, we now proceed to step three. What is step three again? Get the smallest number from all the uncovered numbers. What is the smallest number? Our smallest number is 3. So, therefore, we subtract 3 everywhere. Right? Oops. From all the uncovered. I'm sorry. I should not subtract 3 here. But from the intersection, right, from the intersection of the lines, instead of subtracting the smallest number, you add. So I should add 3 here. Understand? So thus, this becomes, wait, 1, 0. Oops, I forgot to subtract 3 also here, right? And then 8 minus 3 is 5, 6, and this becomes 8. I will just erase so that it will look cleaner. 1, 0, this is 5, 6, and this is 8. All right. I should just rewrite it. 1, 0, 8, 5, 6, and then this is 0. I will just erase the other. Okay, so that is now our table, and then cover all the zeros. So, 1, 2, 3. There you go. Three lines and three rows. So, therefore, we already have an optimal solution. This one is already optimal. So, who will be assigned? Let me just... I will just uh, look at it on another table so that it will be cleaner. Okay, so let us now make the final allocation. Uh, for row A, this one has one zero. So that means A will do project X. So we remove that. Next, for row, for the remaining rows, we have zero six and zero zero. This is the unique zero. So that means B will do project Y. Right? So remove this 
and row, remove the row and column containing that. So therefore, C, of course, will do project Z. Understand? Okay, so remember that the question in the problem was find the cost, right? So how much will be the cost? We know that A will do project X, B will do project Y, and C will do project C. So the total cost is 37 plus 32 plus 29. So that's 18, 6, 7, 98. So it will cost 98, what is this, dollars or pesos, whatever that is, okay?